coffee table is here. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't, I didn't actually measure the table. Um, so now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's probably not as big as I wanted it. And I mean that as in like lengthways and in height. Um, it's quite low down. It's a very low, small coffee table which cost me 250 quid and I'm looking at it going hmm Chloe you really need to learn from this <laughs> learn from this mistake I'm trying to think does it go with the rug I don't know eventually we will get sofa covers to go on these sofas because they're quite like a a very light grey baby blue kind of colour um, which is not my vibe so we will be getting sofa covers for like a really nice kind of dark beige or taup colour. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether this and the rug go. But was, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I've just put on like um, my favourite vase, which is from Zara. I don't actually think it's available anymore. But if you kind of, let me turn around so the light's on it. It's just really kind of like rustic and just it looks quite old which i love um and then this little plant which is actually doing really well this is just a plant pot that i painted myself to kind of make look rustic I just pop those on there and i think it actually looks all right and i've moved that chair a little bit more closer towards it it really is a very small low coffee table but yeah Lesson known, guys, always check the measurements. Basically, I met Jamie and her sister and we shot those outfits. I am honestly the worst. I didn't really film much whilst out. I, I wish I, I wish I remembered to film more like behind the scenes of me like getting the outfit shot, but I just forget because I was just so in the moment. So I do apologize for that, but I am back now. I've just picked up some parcels and I thought, and I thought I might as well just open them. I'm show sure you guys what I got. So the first little parcel is this one. Look how cute this little sticker is. It says you've got great taste. <laughs> it's so cute. It's packaged so nicely. Um, it's from this little company called Purcell Green, which I'm not going to lie to you, it is my best friend's company. But I was after some new soap dishes and she does these really nice beautiful like concrete ones which I just love like how rustic and minimal they look um so I got two I got one for the ensuite and one for like the big bathroom and yeah just for our to put our soaps on there and they've got like little corkscrew not corkscrew uh what's it called cork things at the bottom so it's not like damaging the sink next parcel is from cause um basically i need to stop saying that i keep saying basically like in every sentence and it's really bad i order some more white t-shirts i always rave on about their white t-shirts it's the only white t-shirts i wear i'm literally i'm literally wearing it right now um i absolutely love the quality of these so i thought you know what i'm just gonna stock up um so i got two they are 25 pounds each but I honestly feel like you're paying 
for the quality it feels so nice they're really nice thick cotton i've gone i go on about them all the time um but yeah i just bought some more white t-shirts just got two there and then have a really exciting parcel from source unknown this is um gifted hashtag gifted i've been so excited for this to arrive i love it so much look at it oh it's so beautiful it's like a big thick chunky cardigan with like the beautiful kind of checkered oh it's stunning it feels so thick as well oh my gosh yay oh i don't know what to do first so i ordered this bag from studio 94 um I have previously bought from Studio 94 before, you know, the black sling cross body banana bag that I always wear. That is from Studio 94. I saw on their Instagram that they had just released a new bag, this one here. It needs filling out a little bit because it's a little bit slouchy, um, but I think with some stuff in it, oh, it smells a bit odd though. Oof, I'll put some perfume in there. Um, it does come with a chain as well, which is that for decoration or to wear it like over the shoulder? Oh dear. I don't know. I deal with that later. Um, but yeah, how cute. I absolutely love this green. The colours that I'm loving the most at the moment is cobalt blue and this green. I just think it's stunning and for autumn it's just really nice to have a bit more of like a bolder brighter colour so, sorry it's suddenly just gone really really bright because the sun's just shining in here um so yeah so i ordered this which is it was only 30 pounds which i think is so good it's very similar to um the by far bag you know the one that everyone has on instagram i think it's a very very good dupe um they also sent me I don't know whether it normally comes with this, I'm not sure. There's also a tote bag in here. I love a tote bag. And it's such a good size. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> it zips up. The tote bag zips up. Zip, zip. <laughs> the tote bag zips up. Oh, I'm so chuffed with all my parcels. Your parcels? My parcels. Also, I just want to talk to you guys about the sofa. So, these are the landlord sofas and they have to stay. Which is fine because I actually do quite like the shape of them. Um, I don't really know if you can see in this lighting. They're like a really kind of light grey. But they actually look like a pale baby blue. But these sofas are actually just available on Ikea. So, I had a look on Etsy and you can actually buy covers for these sofas so that's what i'm going to do instead of trying to like get rid of the sofas which i'm not allowed to do i'm just going to buy some new covers which means his covers won't get ruined if i accidentally spill something down them and it'll just fit more into like my interior if you know what i mean so i actually ordered some fabric samples mf17 is the complete wrong color we did not want a purple sofa yeah this is the color swatches here so it was kind of down to these three and we were looking at this one here and we were like well that's quite a yellowy warm toned beige which i don't think we want um so it was then between these two and obviously this one's quite dark and this one's kind of like your normal natural linen colour. So in the end, I think we're going to go for this one purely because it goes quite nicely with the coffee table. Um, and then it also goes quite nicely with the new blanket that I bought, which is actually from Maid. Um, it's really, really nice material, really thick. I love the darker tones to it. I mentioned to you guys that we want to kind of add dark accents into the home so yeah this is a start but yeah that is the update regarding the sofa it's obviously going to take a while for them to actually make the sofa cover so it probably take a month or so but very very excited and i also ordered 
some linen curtains as well. Basically, we have a very big window there. Um, and it did have like netting curtains, but they weren't really what I wanted. They were very kind of old granny-ish kind of vibe. No offense to anyone. So yeah, we've just ordered some linen curtains to go here. We just went for white. Was tempted to go for a natural color, but then I thought, well, if the sofa's a natural kind of beige color, it's gonna look a bit, you know what I mean? So we just went for white, which I think is gonna look really beautiful with the sunlight shining through. And then I also ordered a pair of linen curtains for my office as well. There will be a separate video for my office makeover, doing it up kind of thing. Um, to show you guys the whole process which I am so excited about. I cannot wait to have my own little room where I can just hide away. Yeah, and then we also picked out some cushions as well to go on the sofa. Ones which were going to fit in with like the colour schemes that we're going for. So yeah, it's all coming together. It's just a bit more of a longer process than I would like. I'm not really the most patient person but um, it'll be worth the wait for sure. Good morning. Um. We have another punnet of strawberries here. What's we need? But not enough. Let's be honest. I still haven't quite mastered the whole making this making this movie yet. Um. By making it, I mean like the correct ingredient you know like the whole ratio of stuff um i tried it yesterday or the day before um because on the website it says that they have ice in the power shake smoothie and i was like okay let me try it by so it just didn't work it basically just diluted the smoothie and the vanilla milk just was non-existent um so i'm not going to do that again so um, Eli's brother came up to stay with us last weekend and we all ordered like a jam juice. <laughs> so I kept all the cups because obviously I was like, well, I really like, I, I had one already and I like creating obviously the smoothies and putting them in here. So I was like, now I have four. <laughs> um, so yeah, got a nice little collection growing. I'm starting to lose the will to live now, trying to recreate this. I think they must have some secret ingredient that they do. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But for that one, I used 135 grams of strawberries. I then used one banana. I then used 300 milliliters of vanilla drink, which is this one here by Shake and Udder. I got this one in Waitrose. Um, I know for a fact this one's not available on Asda because that's where we normally do our online food shop. And I haven't seen it, so it might be available on Sainsbury's or like other supermarkets, but I purchased it from Waitrose. Um, and then yeah, that's all I've added. Eli. Eli is convinced that I need to add like vanilla syrup, but I'm like, yeah, but they don't, and I just, I don't know how they do it. But for the time being, I'm pretty chuffed with this. But yeah, I think this is the closest that I've got. Um, so yeah. <laughs> for you and you have 